<laughs> um, at the end of the Auburn game, you were holding up a poster um, that said SEC East Champs. Um, is there any story behind that poster at all? Um, one of the fans had handed it to me, and um, I was very shocked that she gave it to me, and I was just represented because, I mean, that was a big win for us. Being SEC East Champs, going over to Auburn in a tough environment and bringing out a W, that means a lot to this culture and to this team. Did she say anything when she handed it to you? She did. She was just like, here, take it. <laughs> With Lawrence hurt and kind of being banged up in the past few games, I mean, does that put any extra pressure on you guys? Do you feel it internally to have to step up and have a big game? Yes, sir. We do have to step up. I mean, but at the end of the day, we're going to have to more guys taking more reps, and we just have to step up and be ready to play when our number is called. I know you guys are stoked with four straight wins after the loss and everything like that, but you know, offensively, probably not up to your standard in putting up points and stuff like that. What what do you guys have to do to kind of clean that up and, and get things better? What's maybe something that we don't know that you guys have to kind we of We just have better? to execute better. I mean, we do it in practice, but we just have to put it out on the field and just show the world that we are capable of doing what we're supposed to do. Like, I know we, we practice hard every day, but we have to go execute on Saturdays. We have to do a better job at doing it. But so far each week, I feel like we have gotten better, especially on third downs. We didn't do as well against Auburn on third down, but this week we have have um, been emphasizing that a lot that we need to do better on third downs. And in the red area, we improved by some red area touchdowns, and that was a major factor with us winning against Auburn. What are the things y'all do in practice well that doesn't translate to the games you know, Kind of um, so far, we're having good third down periods against our defense. You know, good on good. That's we get better off doing good on the good, and just doing good on good each and every day makes us better, and it makes the defense better as well just by competing. You know, it's real. I mean, we got one of the best defenses in the country, and going against them every day makes the offense better. Getting better on third down, what's that kind of boiled down to in its simplest form? Uh, communication and execution. Yes, sir. Pierce is a player who's already suffered an injury this year and had to battle back. How tough was that on your mindset to not be able to be on the field with your teammates? I know. I mean, it's, it's tough. It's tough, but I just had to remain humble, keep my head down, and keep pushing myself. Knowing God got my back and uh, my teammates got my back when I'm not down, and um, we ready. I'm ready. Through some of this, you know, through some of the execution issues on offense, is, is there a point where you got to kind of battle some frustration? I mean, is there kind of some times where you kind of want to throw your hands up and after a game or while you're struggling during a game? Oh no, sir. I never want to do that, but I know I always know there's room for improvement, and um, each guy on offense knows there's room for improvement. So we go in on Mondays, we'll look at film and know what we need to work on. And we're going to emphasize that throughout the week. And we know we got to get better at it because if we want to win the championship, we got to do the small things right and be attention to details. Ten games into the year, you know, you might want to say you are what you are at this point. I mean, why, why should – I mean, is there a chance that you guys could just all of a sudden start clicking? I mean, or is that kind of – does it not work that way? I feel like that chance is coming. I mean, I feel like we've been putting in the work Monday through Thursday, Monday through Friday, and it's going to show. And that game is coming pretty soon. It's going to start with Texas A&M. When we got to execute well, they got Texas A&M has a pretty good team. And we have to come out and be ready to play. How many guys on the team have those wristbands? Probably everybody, really. Humble over height. Just always, that's the, that's the motto, humble over height. Did you get it from Michael Barnett or did you get it yourself? I did. So he's just giving he everybody? Give, he, gives, he gives them out. And uh, we just pretty much wear them every day. I, I call these my good luck bracelet, So I wear them every day. What is that moment like after you win a game away and you're running over to all of your fans? It felt like a home game, really, after just seeing the fans. I mean, they come out and travel and support us. I mean, we couldn't win that game without our fans. And our fans, they pushed us through it, they supported us. And we want to thank the fans for coming out and support us. And we just need that support through the whole season. And Donald was player, like, when you first got to know him and, and practicing with him, what were some of your initial impressions about him? Um, who is that? Dominic Blaylock. Dominic, a playmaker. He's sneaky. Sneaky. He don't say much, but he's going to get open. He's going to catch the ball, and we can depend on him. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I mean, just say depend on him. He's come up big in big spots. Is there something about his personality that sort of allows him to sort of do that? Yes, sir. I mean, it, like, like I said, Dom is very sneaky. So you, you'll see him about he's open. He just catches the ball and he gets open. Does a great job in his routes. Does a great job creating separation, getting open, and catching the ball as well. It's too bad it's not going to count, but she kind of made one of the catches of the year against Auburn. You ever had one better than that? I think I'd have had one better than that, but that's something to me. I got to have my room on the sideline. I need to make those catches. I need to have my feet in bounds, and um, I'll make that catch next time. When a play like that happens, like that one where you, I mean, it was almost a miracle that you were able to come up with the football in traffic like that. Yes, I mean, do they coach you up on that play? I mean, did, was there a situation after 
I mean, when you guys were going over film, were they like, this is why you weren't in bounds? I mean, yes, sir. Like, I didn't. I, I let the DB hold me the whole time. I didn't um, get the DB off me, and um, I didn't have enough room on the sideline to catch the ball, and didn't have enough room to just to stay in bounds. Can you walk us through your emotions on a play like that? I mean, you made the big catch, and obviously you think you're in bounds, and you go to the students that, or the fans and start cheering. I think it's called back. Yes, sir. You just got to come back and make the next play. Whenever my number is called, whenever the play is called, just got to come back. That play is out the window. So, I mean, just like I said, got to come back and be ready for the next play. Curious, what's the vibe around here after a big win overall run a robbery game? And, uh, you know, did it take a lot of emotion? Were you guys physically worn down from that thing? Or? It was a dog fight. I mean, Auburn has a good team. Auburn has a great defense. They were physical. I mean, they were big. And we had to be ready. Like, after that game, I probably was, I was my whole upper body was sore because it was so physical by blocking and stuff. But after that, I mean, that game's out of the way. We were focused on Texas A&M. And we got a big game this weekend. Kirby apologized at the beginning of the week for you know what he said after the game, but what that that make you guys feel like in the locker room getting pumped up? Uh, I don't even know what he said, but whatever he said, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> so.